Hello, welcome to the section Running Linux in a Virtual Environment. Here are the topics that we'll cover in this section. Why every Linux administrator needs to learn about Linux security. A bit about the threat landscape, with some examples of how attackers have been able to breach Linux systems. Resources for keeping up with IT security news. How to set up Ubuntu Server and CentOS Virtual Machine with VirtualBox and how to install the EPEL repository in the CentOS Virtual Machine. How to create virtual machine snapshots. How to install SIGWIN on a Windows host so that Windows users can connect to a virtual machine from their Windows hosts. Now we move on to the first video of this section that deals with the threat landscape and keeping up with security news. In this video, we will look at different types of common malware and infections, and the reasons for the same. Then we will see how important it is to keep up with the security news, and look at some well-known websites provide such information. If you've kept up with IT technology news over the past few years, you'll likely have seen at least a few articles about how attackers have compromised Linux servers. For example, while it's true that Linux isn't really susceptible to virus infections, there have been several cases where attackers have planted other types of malware on Linux servers. These cases have included Botnet malware. It causes a server to join a botnet that is controlled by a remote attacker. One of the more famous cases involved joining Linux servers to a botnet that launched denial-of-service attacks against other networks. Ransomware. It is designed to encrypt user data until the server owner pays a ransom fee. But, even after paying the fee, there's no guarantee that the data can be recovered. Cryptocoin mining software. It causes the CPUs of the server on which it's planted to work extra hard and consume more energy. Crypto coins that get mined go to the accounts of the attackers who planted the software. And of course, there have been plenty of breaches that don't involve malware, such as where attackers have found a way to steal user credentials, credit card data, or other sensitive information. Some security breaches come about because of plain carelessness. Here's an example of where a careless Adobe administrator placed the company's private security key on a public security blog. Keeping up with security news is also important. If you're in the IT business, even if you're not a security administrator, you want to keep up with the latest security news. In the age of the internet, that's easy to do. First, there are quite a few websites that specialize in network security news. Examples include Packet Storm Security and The Hacker News. Regular tech news sites and Linux news websites, such as The Inquirer, The Register, ZDNet, LXR, also carry reports about network security breaches. And, if you'd rather watch videos than read, you'll find plenty of good YouTube channels, such as Begin Linux Guru. Finally, regardless of which Linux distribution you're using, be sure to keep up with the news and current documentation of your Linux distribution. Distribution maintainers should have a way of letting you know if a security problem crops up in their products. Let's look at the Hacker News site. It is a security news site. Also, there are some general tech news sites. First is the Inquirer. Then we have the Register and ZDNet. You can check out some general Linux learning resources as well. For example, the Linux news site Alexa and Begin Linux Guru on YouTube. So that's it for this video. In the next video, you will be introduced to VirtualBox and SIGWIN.